Hello, and welcome back to Let's Yellow Bastion. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up from last time, which, if I remember correctly, which I don't, um, we had found the guy, I think? Or was it... Yeah, we, we definitely found the guy. I think that's where we left off. So we're back at the Bastion. We have a nice pet. We have Zolf. We have the old guy. See if we missed anything that we need to get from the uh, lost and found though. Let's see here. Um. Uh, nothing worth getting right now, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the next core, and hopefully not die. Oh, and we also have the shield thing. I think... Let's go for the core. That's Cinderbrick Fort, where the marshals used to watch over the city. It is. If I remember correctly, this one was actually pretty hard. Um, it is a fort after all. There's only one way in the Cinderbrick Fort. The hard way. Yeah. It's a fort. It has turrets and stuff. It's not supposed to be easy to get into. Unless that you're supposed to... Well... Like, if you're supposed to be at a place, it's supposed to be relative. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. But now the fort's crawling with windbags. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Well, just waste the tonic there. I'm gonna try to not do that in the future. So... Okay, he's dead. I still want to know what these things are. Like... Wham! Kid's ready for the windbags this time. Cause... Wrong button. Okay, wrong button again. Oh yeah, you don't need his witch weapons. Okay, gotta... Gotta get my head in the game here. Literally. Um... Cause... I think part of the reason why they survived the calamities is because they can fly. That the ground gave way beneath their, um... The calamity was mercy for normal folks. The windbags ain't so lucky. Also, the windbags can fly. They've been left to freeze, or starve, or face the kid. He could just not be... Ah, shoot. I'm doing very bad. Like I said... Not the easiest... Oh, yeah, these ones track you. Oh, wow, that was terrible. Even if you counter, they just kind of go back around. So... And I keep pushing. That's just... okay. So I leveled up, which is nice because it refilled all my shit that I had been losing because my complete inability to. E, no way. Let's try to stop this complete, yeah. So the windbags are... The well, windbags, young and old, keep fighting for the fort. Why? Kid can't hardly tell up from down after a while. Yeah, 
they can fly, so again, ground giving way. I'm not sure about the... What are the things, the what you call it? It's the, uh, slimy things. What was them actually? Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want is a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, uh... Gun. Musket. The scrap musket. AKA a blunderbuss, which is you basically you just shove a bunch of random shit in. It's like a gun, except instead of a bullet you have a bunch of random shit you shove in the uh Barrel and like nail, whatever, whatever you can get your hands on, really. And then you launch it. I'm gonna hold off on healing. I the calamity drove the windbags topside. A lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Um, I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going, so I'm gonna go ahead and go this way to see if there's stuff to pick up. Video game logic. Plus we need the uh, fragments if we're gonna buy stuff. Or upgrade our weapons. So, I'm doing okay-ish, I think. I should really, I should be doing better, though. Especially with the whole self-imposed die, stop playing thing. Um. So this is the fort. Could have been minding the business underground like in the old days. I'm not sure how to deal with the. How to deal with the tracking shots? Actually, I, d I never did figure that out. Because even if you uh, even if you counter them, they basically go back around and hit you in the back. Like, okay, that was not a counter, but and that was a hole in the ground. Let's avoid those in the future. Just in general, let's not fall to infinity. Of course, you, you end up back on the on the ground. Partly again, video game logic, but in this case, it might make some more sense because there's there's nothing underneath you. So I guess you just kind of fall until you circle back around, and end up at the top of the planet. Windbags can't use the martial supplies, but a kid sure can. Oh, this is just yeah, normal armory. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find the gold. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Uh-oh, I don't like the look of this floor. Well, the fort ain't theirs by right. Can't blame them for wanting it, though. Keeping my distance, I'm playing. I'm, I really need to play more conservatively with their. Which means not doing that. Yeah, okay, we're not gonna take this guy on head on. So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Part, part of the reason why I'm kind of confused about the, the enemies in this game is because if they are... 
basically just non-human citizens of the city. Shouldn't they be on board with the whole Bastion plan? They don't exactly seem to be doing very well with the whole Calamity thing either. On the other hand, maybe they, you know, the place in society just kind of sucked. They better figure, man, yeah, new start. Better than restoring the old world. idea behind the phrase, you only live once, is, uh, you know, go for it. Throw caution to the wind. You only live once. You just missed. Oh, come on, I can't counter you if you don't give me a... I don't exactly know what happened there, but it worked. And you missed. Your defense systems really need to be able to hit targets, but wow. There we go. And the stab weed. So right now, we just really need to find a way out. That's right, I do have the secret skill, don't I? And that was a bunch of counters in a row, kind of delayed. Security's playing gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. Yes, it's all their fault. It's not... It's not the fact that I'm literally smashing everything in my path that, you know, now the security system has marked me as an enemy. No, 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 no. It's the Windax fault. Totally. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. It's probably my fault. I mean, I guess the security system does kind of just... So I'm pretty sure these are flame cannons, which means getting close to them would be a bad idea. So we're just going to go ahead and mow them down from a nice, comfortable distance. It ain't afraid to get burned. Yeah, okay, flame cannons. Uh, see? Flame. And we're just gonna go ahead and not waste a bunch of health potions and whatnot. Again, I need those to live. They trap the kid in the middle of the fort's parade grounds. Okay, we're gonna leave. Oh, come on, yeah. Okay. Then they bring out Glutus and Glandon and all their oh, scumbag uncles. Crap! Oh, it crashed. 
Damn it. Curse you, Stick Key. You've destroyed the world again. Um. So, I, I gotta... Okay, hello and welcome back to... Let's try not to... Crash the game bastion again. Last time, we completely failed at that, so... We crashed the game with Stick Key. Again. And we're back here. So, okay. I'm thinking you don't want to see me go through all that again. The fort's still standing there, waiting for the kid, mocking him. Yeah, I guess uh, the storyteller has some new stuff to say when you go back to a place. I do not remember this guy here. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. And now he's gone. Um. Anyway, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording and just pick up, uh, pick up where I left off. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where I left off. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to not... They trapped the kid in the middle of the um, fort's parade grounds. I had it worse often before. I had to... I used a... Um, a second chance thing. So that's... That's good. Come on. Then they bring out Glutus and Glandon and all their scumbag uncles. They got something to gain, and only their sorry hides to lose. Takes down Glutus. Or maybe it was Glandon. Oh, right, there's that part of it too. Every time they attack, they. So, yeah, this was. The windbags finally get the message. That was then a lot easier than it should have been given the home. They really should have been. They, they got stuck on something. Like I said. Not my problem. The game just crashed on me, so... Anyway. Sometimes things work randomly in your favor, sometimes they work annoyingly against it. Um... And we're gonna go ahead and take the Marshal Badge. Kid used the dream of getting the Marshal's Badge, but not like this. And I'm pretty the sure... The Skyway's a welcome sight after all that. To the Skyway we go. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Oh yeah. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. Okay, let's talk to the people. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity.
Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. That, that takes us to... Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. So that takes us to who knows where is the part. And I've been thinking about that. It's basically a side quest. But you can actually get stuff from it and how it fits into the whole rule as to you die. You, you know, die, stop playing. I think what I'm going to do is with the who knows where sections. Dying in them isn't going to count as a death for the overall game. But I only get one chance at them. Otherwise, I could use them to just grind fragments and then use those to upgrade weapons. And anyway, let's go for the monument. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. And we're gonna go ahead and see what we can build. Memorial or shrine? Uh, given that the shrine doesn't actually help us, let's just go ahead and build a memorial. The memorial. Here yeah, a kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Yeah, okay, so... Let's go ahead and Words go. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. Oh, and then there's the bruise available. Or rather, another slot. Let's go ahead and get ten... Squirt Sido will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. And, okay, so the next thing we got, we got the river, the core, we got some improving grounds. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the shield proving ground, the bullhead cord. Court is back in session for the kid. Old ritual for when folks believed there was this godlike bull watching over him. Had to make do with nothing but a shield. Just gotta get the counters. And things will go well. Blocks are okay. But counters are better. Okay. Oh wow, he was fast. He's really fast. Okay, that's, that's not... Okay. What? No, that was... Trial pushed many a man to his limits. I'm not really sure why I can't use my health potions here. I don't remember why at least. Okay, see, these guys are really slow now. Okay, you get... Yeah, um... Yeah, I gotta do it before I think I gotta do it. And there's these guys. Gotta make sure not to drop the shield. And then I think there's a...
The yeah, smarter ones kind of... knew when to just step aside and let things go. Okay. That was just mean of you. Some folks wound up taking the coward's way out. There we go. The kid makes it out in one piece. Yeah, that was terrible. I never did like the shield proving grounds, honestly. Um, I'm not sure if this. Oh. Just a whole bunch of fragments. So. Let's, let's go ahead and. Call it for this episode. Well, the kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. And. If anyone ever ends up watching these videos, I will be there in the next one, so YOLO.